Hey, everybody, Brooklyn in the house. Back at you to do a read for the collective. So, collective, if you resonate with this, claim it. If you don't resonate, don't force fit. Sharing is caring around here, all right? It's sick, thick energy on YouTube. It's worldwide. Speaking of which, whoever you are, wherever you are on the whole entire planet, shout out to you. Thank you for reaching out to me to let me know all these wonderful places. It amazes us. It makes our day. And we really are very grateful for that. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to join us. We see you. We acknowledge you. And we're very grateful for your presence. And whether or not anybody else has told you, Delilah, Tiberius, and I love you. Now let's hit this. Clear and ground. Thank you. As above, so below. There is no beginning. There is no end. It is with an attitude of gratitude that I would humbly like to thank Source, the Archangels, Ascended Masters, Spirit, and my ancestors for overseeing this act of divination. Spirit, please help me to relay clear and concise messages for the higher good of our collective. Collective, there's no gender in tarot. Masculine and feminine energy only. Anybody can be resonating in either or at any time. It's my job to read and channel the energy to you. It is your job to make it apply in your life only for your higher good so that you could be working from your higher self should you, you know, come across these energies or situations, all right? And only if it applies. So here we go. I will call out the most predominant signs that show their faces, but anybody can be resonating in any one of their planets. So keep that in mind. Show me the energy. All right, here we go, guys. Come on. Give it to me, spirit. Show me. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Pat Benatar. Hit me with your best shot. Come on and hit me with your best shot. So somebody wants to hit somebody with a shot. And I don't mean like, you know, like, <laughs> I don't mean like in an aggressive way. I mean, somebody wants to shoot their shot. Oh my God, somebody wants to shoot their shot. Somebody's got a four of cups. You know, the Four of Cups is coming in on a shelf here, meaning that there was some kind of disconnection, boredom, indifference, some kind of maybe in contemplation. Somebody's coming to some kind of clarity now and acceptance and awareness and, you know, perhaps even happiness. All right, so I don't, no worries. She knocked the letters down, guys, but here we go. So now you got to look about a Nine of Cups. Kind of coming in on a shelf, but we're going to put it up right. Listen, the Nine of Cups is a wish coming true, emotional fulfillment, to, you know, it's it's comfort, it's success, it's satisfaction. Now, here's the thing. I think somebody's coming to terms with the fact that somebody or someone is going to be a wish come true and their emotional, you know, happiness. I'm seeing pineapples. I'm seeing brick oven pizza. Something about brick oven pizza. Somebody eating brick oven pizza. Okay. Something about a pumpkin. Here we go. Halloween, maybe? I don't know. Let's go. Show me. Show me. So you got the magician. Gemini energy. Somebody here maybe has Gemini in their chart. Maybe is a Gemini. It doesn't matter. It's the Magi. This is the master manipulator. This is the manifester. The deliberate creator. This is somebody who's inspired to action. They have willpower, logic, skill, intellect, and they make things happen. They alchemize, meaning that they put the work in. They come up with the plan. They actually put the work in and they make things happen. You got the hermit. Virgo energy. Now, listen, you have Gemini and Virgo here is the most predominant so far. The hermit upright is somebody that goes through the dark night of soul. And they take all of their life experiences and lessons and they transmute them. They ascend spiritually. They learn from them. They do soul searching, self-reflection. They, they talk to source, okay? And then they have this like, inner knowledge and, and, and guidance where they can help other people. They usually go by their own, yeah, intuition. Look at this. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I get so excited for you people. Like, these are my readings. I've never read any of them. Yeah, look. Aquarius energy now. You over here, look. You, all right. You got three major arcana in a five-card spread, first of all. Let's take notice of that. This is a wish coming true. This is a gift from the divine. This is hope for your future. A lot of you, this is your destiny I'm hearing. A lot of you, um, you get some kind of downloads straight from source. You see this? You have some kind of inner wisdom that you're going to be sharing or that you do share. See this with the waters of life? You're pouring it into the water. Everybody gets the water. Everybody gets the knowledge. Something that you maybe had to learn yourself first, but definitely connected to source, okay? Well, let's see where this is going. Show me. Aquarius, Virgo, and Gemini. Whatever this is, it's going to lead to your ultimate happiness. I mean, you know, here we go. So, you got a seven of pentacles. Some of you planted some seeds. Whatever those seeds were, they're going to be different for everybody, right? 
But it's about having patience while your garden is growing. This is about, <laughs> here we go again. This is about watering your garden, maybe with miracle Grow. You know, trimming your bushes. And I'll tell you again, guys, it's summertime. Keep those bushes trimmed, right? <laughs> and having patience, waiting for, you know, harvest time. Watching your, watching it grow, but waiting for harvest time. You have a queen of cups. So this could be something emotional as well. It doesn't have to be financial. This is just about having patience and watching something grow. Queen of Cups talks about loving, caring, kind, nurturing. Cancer Pisces is Scorpio energy. Somebody who's very supportive, devoted, compassionate, warm. Could be a healer. Could be some kind of a healer, without a doubt. Maybe somebody that has some kind of gifts. Here we go. At the center of the spread, we have uh, Cancer. So this could be a Cancer. Um, doesn't have to be though. Somebody's got a goal and a focus. Somebody wants some kind of success or victory. It's about willpower, ambition, and control. It's overcoming any obstacles. It's like, if I can't get over that mountain or around that mountain, I'm going to bl blow a freaking hole right through that mountain to get to the other side. So somebody wants some kind of victory. It's, it's coming in fast or it's going out fast. Depends on who I'm talking to here. Could be some kind of victory in love. I'm seeing like love. I mean, somebody's right here could be manifesting some kind of emotional happiness with perhaps somebody that has water in their chart, particularly a cancer. It doesn't have to be. Could be Virgo, Aquarius. It could be anything, right? It's about the energy. Show me. And everybody has everything in their chart. This is going to bring some kind of fairness and balance. Somebody wants to bring some kind of fairness and balance into a situation here. Libra energy, all right? So, listen. Whatever was not balanced fairly is about to... Yeah. Recompense. <laughs> Somebody's trying. Yeah, I'm hearing recompense. Somebody's about to balance those scales, though. Somebody's got the sword of truth, and they're coming in. Mate. Oh God. Okay, you got five of swords. Coming in on a shelf. This is somebody who wants to maybe <sighs> compromise now. Maybe they have some regrets. There might still be some resentments and some hostilities, but it's looking like somebody wants to reconcile. This could be a reconciliation of some sort, but it doesn't have to be. Okay, it could just. It could also just be. You know. Somebody that maybe you disagree with or whatever. That it's about compromising. Somebody's learning how to compromise here. This is what. But they're going to be. And by this learning how to compromise, this is what's bringing fairness and balance. My nose is itching. Show me. All right, here you go. Somebody might have been left out in the cold. There might have been some financial ramifications. Somebody might have lost a job here. There is loss of some sort, okay? It's a five of pentacles. It could be hardship, struggle, unemployment, could be like isolation, insecurity, being left out in the cold. I'm hearing the tundra. <laughs> the tundra. Whatever the tundra. Oh, show me. Here. You have a knight of swords in reverse. So this is not a good energy, the knight of swords in reverse. The knight of swords in reverse is somebody who's very aggressive. They're tactless. They're arrogant. They're impulsive. They're condescending. They're egotistical. They lie. They manipulate. Somebody might have left somebody out in the cold that behaved in this manner. In, they're out. Think they know everything. Think they're God's gift. You know, it's a knight of swords in reverse. We don't like this. It's a nasty energy. You have, um, oh, a king of wands in reverse. So, here, yeah, this person is the narcissist. The king of wands in reverse, this is Leo energy, fire. But uh, the king of wands in reverse is a jealous, manipulative, forceful, egotistical, they lie, they cheat, they blame it on you. It's a narcissist. They throw your breadcrumbs, they're in, they're out. They, you know, you're a woman in every port. So somebody might have been very egotistical here, manipulative, completely narcissistic like this. Even verbally abusive. This would be somebody that's verbally abusive and nasty. Like somebody that's maybe very, um, yeah, like they try to bully people. This is like a bully here. Give that one a kick in the ass. Yeah, we don't do bullies around here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you have Libra, Cancer, you have uh, Gemini, Virgo, and Aquarius. Here we go. Okay. There's also somebody can have, have Leo in their truck. I told you Leo highly. Whoever this person is, the reason why they act the way they do is because they have no self-confidence, all right? This person is um, not very brave. This person is completely, like, weak. This person lacks any kind of, um, yeah, self worth this is what this is why they're a narcissist and a bully because they don't think much of themselves misery loves company so this is why they act like this this is what they act like look guys they act like the knight of swords the king of wands and strength in reverse now who wants to deal with this i don't care how egotistical this person is and they're walking around i'm hearing what peacocking what 
sauntering around. This person saunters around. I don't know why. <laughs> they saunter. Whatever that is. They saunter around like they're God's gift. Whoever this is, male or female. In the meantime, they have no, no self-value or self-worth. They lack self-confidence. They doubt themselves. All right? They can't do anything right, this person. They can't. Low self-esteem like you never seen. Yeah. Show me. What's the advice? What's the advice? So you have Leo a lot. I mean, might, both, both of you might have Leo in your chart. I might be talking directly to a Leo. I don't know. Show me. Somebody you're dealing with, whoever this person is. Six of God. Somebody from your past. All right? You, listen. You have to leave this person out in the cold. Whoever this person is, if this person, listen. This person might be coming around for a reconciliation. What did I tell you? Right? They want to try to bring some kind of fairness and balance. Maybe some kind of fairness and balance came in your life. Maybe you got some kind of hope for your future, a gift from the divine. It brought some kind of fairness and balance. And now comes this, you know, no good. Yeah. So you have to leave this person out in the cold. Maybe this person has some kind of financial issues and now they're looking at you. This is a person from your past. This is a situation from your past. This is a place in your past. This The past doesn't exist anymore. All right? So here. Yeah. Let it go. I mean, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So what's the... What's, yeah, show me. I don't know. People, by the way, thank you for hitting the like and subscribe while we remember to beg and barter for the buttons. I keep forgetting to ask. And then I got... You know, we're not above being humble and begging and bartering. I mean, you know, we don't have an ego here. So there's that. But uh, it is necessary, and it'll make you feel good, right? And since we are all one, whether you know this or not, we all come from the polarity, okay? The singularity, the, yeah. Um, do me a favor. Treat, yourself, treat me like we treat you. Hit the button. Then you do something good for yourself, right? It's good karma. We're all sharing it, right, guys? That's how it goes. All right, so here we go. You have some kind of ace of pentacles, but it's coming in on the shelf, meaning that there's some kind of opportunity here for some kind of abundance, some kind of resources, maybe material or financial gain, but it could be a missed opportunity as well. Like, it's not 100%. This could be some kind of missed opportunity. Or it's going to be a missed opportunity for these people, because what, for whoever this is, all right, whoever this person is, this is one person here, um... They might want to reconcile because they're having issues here, whatever this is. But um, they're going to be sorry. I don't think you're going to go for it, whoever I'm talking to. I really don't. Because I got to be honest, other than the Queen of Cups here, I'm not seeing, and the, the, I, the Cups here from the past, there's really not too many emotions here. The only emotion you, somebody had over here was like, you know, trying to get over being disgusted. Probably disgusted with this person. I got to be honest. Come on, show me. Let's go. We can't make these daily videos too long. Give me, give me, give me. All right, so here you go. You do have, um, listen, you guys, just whatever you're working on, whatever you're committed, dedicated, and focused on, whether it's a financial, because again, Pentacles is about, you know, your finances or your material goods, keep staying focused. Because whatever you're focusing on, just be patient. Look, it's growing. It went from the seven to the eight. You're becoming a master at what you do, okay? This is about being committed, dedicated, focused, and having skill, right? Expertise, mastery. So, here we go. All right. Somebody's coming in. There's a Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Now, listen, I want to say this in two ways. First of all, for those of you working on some kind of financial situation, maybe you start, you planted some financial seeds here, whether it was a new job or some kind of new business, it's growing slowly, as it should. Slow and steady wins the race. For others of you, there could be a Knight of Pentacles coming in. Maybe, you know, for anything. They could be offering you a new job or a new skill. Or perhaps they were just even offering you their Pentacle. But they're moving slow. But the good thing about the Knight of Pentacles, the slowing move, moving Knight in the whole damn deck, is that when they do come, they're committed, dedicated, focused, and they put the work in. Again, I'm seeing like this orange sky. The orange sky again. Like when... Canada was burning the other day. Yeah, you got, okay, you got his whole oh, nice. Somebody's really being very smart here and thinking about what they're doing. You got a king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So this is about being very fair, clear thinking, disciplined, intellectual. This could be somebody in the military, the law, you know, so with the justice and the king of swords, I'll say that you're going to be fine if you're in some kind of legal situation because you got the victory card here, six of wands. See, being seen in the public eye, some kind of victory, some kind of... Now, there could be a king of swords here that is seen in the public eye somehow. Maybe they have some kind of a social platform or something. They're moving slow, but when they do come in, they're going to be committed, dedicated, and focused. 
you know? And this could be also, you know, a new opportunity for some kind of financial abundance. Don't, this could be a mischance, though, if they don't move fast enough, I'm feeling. All right? You got a shock and a surprise. Aries, there's some kind of, there's some, oh, somebody's going to get a shock and surprise, something they didn't see coming. Okay, we have Aries energy, the Queen of Wands, somebody charismatic, self-assured, bold, optimistic, assertive. Somebody could be in hangman here. Look at this. Somebody's going to take a new leap of faith. Somebody doesn't see this coming in. It's a new emotional awakening. So we have Aries, Cancer, and Pisces. All right, so there's an Aries out there that's going to get a shock and a surprise. Somebody might be in hangman feeling like their hands are trapped, tied or trapped, or maybe they have to look at things in a different perspective. But somebody's about to take a new leap of faith. you got Aries twice here, okay? They're going to face everything and jump off that hill. Somebody doesn't see something. There's something going on in the surface, under the shadows. And uh, it's some kind of a new emotional awakening that somebody's about to get here. All right? So let's give you a couple of kippers. We'll get you a couple of letters and we'll let you go. Thank you again, guys. Hope you're having a great day. Show me. All right, so here we go. You have it. Oh, we got a thief. We got two thieves. We got, listen, somebody's trying to steal something from somebody. It doesn't actually have to be money or jewelry or something like this. Could be your ideas at work. Could be anything, okay? Somebody's distracting somebody with something aesthetically pleasing. Like, look at this man. How could this man not take his eyes off that cleavage, right? While he's looking over there, this one's picking in his pocket. This guy's got his hand in his pocket. He thinks it's probably just, you know, the wood growing or something. He doesn't even realize, this person doesn't even realize that something's being taken from them because they're distracted is the point that I'm making here. 24 or 6. Somebody could be 42. We're going to get your binaural beat now. Let's go. Show me. Here we go. 39 or 12. There's a community here. There could be some kind of a community. It could be any kind of... Right now, you're in the tarot community. It could be, you know, I'm seeing like a steakhouse, like Outback Steakhouse. Somebody could be going out. So maybe a community of foodies. Whatever kind of community this is. It be a community somebody lives in, a community somebody goes to, a community of like-minded individuals, I'm hearing. Somebody could have a purple um, a purple robe or a purple shawl. Here we go. Somebody likes to do the hula hoop. Shout out to that. High, ho high honor. Somebody holds somebody in high honor. Somebody could have been in the military, the law, they could be. It could be somebody older, because that looks like the Civil War. Something about hubcaps. Somebody's got those spinning hubcaps or the jacking hubcaps or whatever they're doing with these hubcaps. There's something going on with hubcaps. This person, you know, whether or not they were in the military, the law, they've seen again the Civil War. What is that? Where was the Civil War? I don't know. Virginia, maybe? Whatever. The point is here that... Um, Maybe somebody just has respect for somebody. Because in Brooklyn, when you say, oh, I'll hold you in high honor, that means I have respect for you, you have respect for me. You know. But it could be any of those scenarios. All right. Let's see. 25 or 7. Somebody could be 52 here. Show me. I'm seeing that. You know what I'm seeing? I'm seeing like a Civil War reenactment. Or like, you know when. Yeah. Some kind of medieval times. Like when they do a reenactment. But this one's with the Civil War. For some reason. So wherever they do that, I'm going to say Virginia. I don't know if that's true. I'm making that up. I'm not, you know. All right. But again, you got some kind of like expensive hubcaps. Look at that. Somebody's jacking them. Especially if they're the spitting ones. I don't know. Okay. Anything else, Kipper? We got to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is the last time around for Kipper. I think Kipper is done. Yep, Kipper looks like they're done. So at the bottom of the Kipper deck, we have Lover is nice. Somebody could be in bad health. There's a great fortune. All right, Lover is Gemini energy. There's going to be a decision that has to be made here. All right. Now, I know she knocked down the uh, the letters. Oh, God, wait. Let's get you a couple of these. These are so funny. Here we go. I'll just pull them. You have Motown. Somebody likes to listen to Motown. Somebody's in the flow. So that's Taoism. You should go study it. Never go against the current. You're going to mess up everything. All right. Let's here get this one. Nobody's got time for this, so nobody's got time for something here, all right? Somebody's got, nobody's got time for Jack and Hubcaps. <laughs> nobody's got time for Jack and Hubcaps. Oh, God, all right. Well, you know, it is what it is. So, here we go. Accountability. Somebody needs to take accountability for something that they did, all right? So, if this isn't you, then this is somebody else, and don't let them come around you until they actually grow up and take the accountability for whatever it is that they need to. Somebody maybe needs to take accountability that they're hooked on junk food, okay? This is not healthy for you. This is your vessel. You have to put the proper things in it, particularly mostly vegetables, things that grow in the earth and have sunshine on them so that you're ingesting that sunshine and all those vitamins, okay? Junk food's not going to do it. And believe me when I tell you, I love Iomi Taco Bell better than anybody, but you know what? You know, you got to drink plenty of water. So stop with your junk food. Somebody is either missing affection 
or needs affection, or is overly affectionate, but there's something about affection. Maybe somebody needs to give more affection to their pets. Lao. Okay, so I think this is a name, or Lao Tzu, right, from The Art of War, which we've read. Um, yeah, not Sun Tzu. We do Lao Tzu in this house, okay? We're older. Yeah, Southwest. Something about the Southwest. I'm hearing Chipotle. Somebody might be eating Chipotle. Here we go with downtown again. Downtown. Something about downtown. Okay, so Eric Nally sings that part. Downtown in Macklemore, right? In that song. Which, by the way, I love Eric Nally. If you hear me, Eric Nally, shout out to you, okay? Um, here's the thing. So somebody could be named Eric. Somebody could be named Nally. Something about downtown, all right? Whatever that is, maybe you go downtown. Maybe you work downtown. Maybe, you, you know, whatever it is, feel, all right? Downtown. Maybe it's the song. Go listen to the song. But that'll bring up your energy, frequency, and vibration, right? Good music. I tell you all the time. Here we go. Clean your freaking house. Whoever I'm talking to, and I don't care if you get insulted or not, you need to clean the house. Get yourself some nice smelly cleaning something, a couple of rags. Clean the freaking house. Scrub the top. Do the laundry. Make sure the dishes are done. Mop the freaking floor. Shake up the energy and get all that dust and that sediment of negative energy and everything else out of there, okay? It's not healthy to have a dirty house, all right? Really. I'm really serious. And I don't care who likes it. And if it bothers you, then maybe you need to clean your freaking house. Like, you know? <laughs> it's going to make you feel so much better and lighter. You have no idea. Crack up that energy. Somebody's getting laid. Listen, if you want to get laid, you better clean the house. All right? How about that? If somebody wants to get laid and somebody wants to have some affection here, clean the house or nobody's going to come over and do the job. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Guys, all right, come on, laugh. It's so good for you. It's going to bring up your energy. Now, let's see. That's, yeah, I mean, but, it, you know, it's true, but it's funny. Somebody might have some legal issues. I told you that. All right, at the bottom of this deck, ADD, ADHD, somebody could be suffering with that. Somebody's a narcissist. Well, we saw that. Somebody's name could be Corey or Alicia. All right, now, I'm just going to get you a couple of letters, and then thank you again. Let's see if we can't get 75 E's and four I's and two, yeah, three A's. I mean, let's do, you know, seriously. Seriously. I'm going to go through this bag and take out all the vowels. Here, you got a, two D's. Here, we got two D's and an M. I'm hearing Maddie. Maddie, um, you have an I. Oh, look at this. What did I tell you? Am I joking with you? I mean, we have three D's. Two I's. Uh, I'm hearing shoe. You have shoe like a shoe you wear. U O C. I'm hearing chew. Choo choo. Chad. Okay, you got M, three Ds. Somebody could be a doctor, MD. You got C H S I I U and O. So listen, guys, again, thank you for the like and subscribe. We love you unconditionally, whether you did or not. Always remember, leave it logic and integrity. Act with kindness and love. Let things go. Fear is your enemy and trust in God because karma is real. Until tomorrow, guys, have a great day. Love and light.